This is another great tree for our downtown area. It's Carimbia physifolia. And uh, physifolia, because the leaf on it looks a lot like a fig-shaped leaf to it. This tree blooms very prolifically in the summertime. It's, uh, this one is actually blooms in orange, but they do bloom in red, pink, and cream color. And it's in the uh, eucalyptus family, which is in the Myrtaceae family. Um, it was recently brought into the Carimbia genus, brought out of the eucalyptus genus, because the pod on it actually has a little bit different shape to it. It has an opening on it. So uh, these were reclassified into Carimbia. What's cool about this tree is it's one of our success stories as to how we can protect trees during development. So the Barry Swenson Builder Company hired one of our very detailed uh, arborists in the private sector and he and I worked together to work with the developer to construct this building very close to the tree. We had to excavate ahead of the construction and prune roots and then also do canopy pruning. But it just shows that our efforts to save trees are really successful sometimes. So we're in the 100 block of Mission Street and we're actually right next to the Mission Santa Cruz. And when the missionaries came in, they brought some really cool, unique trees, uh, one of which is this Chilean wine palm. And these Chilean wine palms, there's actually several Chilean wine palms that are planted at different missions throughout the state of California. And it's a feather-shaped palm. They make uh, wine out of the dates in Chile. And it sheds its fronds, unlike the Canary Island palm that we have to prune to strip the old petioles or the boots from trunk this actually sheds to a clean trunk and just a really cool unique rare tree it's uh, Jubia chiliensis and it's in the Ericaceae family and so all palms are in the Ericaceae family and as I mentioned they're either feather palms that have the frond that looks like a feather or some people know that the uh, the fan palms actually like our California fan palm and the Mexican fan palm which is actually seen over there which is the fan palm. So you can see these are feather palms and then that's the fan palm. And then one other cool thing is we've put, uh, installed these uh, queen palms, which are another type of feather palm in our uh, Mission Hill median. So, um, next to it is the Bunya Bunya tree and that's Araucaria bidwillii and that's Araucariaceae family. There's actually a um, monkey puzzle, which a lot of people mistake this tree for. Uh, Norfolk Island pine, which is um, another Araucaria, or they call them star pines also. Um, and uh, then we just recently brought in one that were planted that's rare called the candelabra pine. pine. So we actually have four Araucarias now planted in Santa Cruz. Uh, the branches on it, are very sharp, so it's very difficult to prune. The bunya bunya tree is actually native to Australia, and um, the monkey puzzle is native to Chile, so they're from different parts of the globe. Um, the pods on these are very large and very heavy, and if they fall, they can actually cause an injury, so it's pretty important with these big seed pods that you actually remove them if they're in a high traffic or in a public area. A very cool two trees at our mission, Santa Cruz. Is this tree right here, which we looked at the Bunya Bunya tree up at the uh, mission, and uh, I talked about the four different Araucarias we have in Santa Cruz. And this is the star pine or the Norfolk Island pine. It's Araucaria heterophylla. And if you look at the top, you could, it, it looks somewhat like a star, and so that's where the common name of this tree came from. Um, these trees are native to the Australia area, specifically the Norfolk Islands. And uh, Captain James Cook in 1774, when he was sailing, discovered these Norfolk Island pines. And they're not a real pine, obviously the pines are the Pinaceae family, and this is in the Araucariaceae family. 
but he discovered these trees and he thought that they would be good for building masts on ships because they're very straight and vertical. However, when they started harvesting, they found that the wood actually is very soft and it's not actually good for lumber or use for building at all. Um, but there's this star pine and then there's another one right behind it. And so this is very closely related to the bunya bunya and the monkey puzzle tree. The pods on it are about the size of a grapefruit rather than being very large. Uh, but they're just a beautiful tree and a lot of times you can get them at uh, the supermarket. They sell them as Christmas trees, uh, but they do turn into these quite large trees. But uh, we're very lucky to have, again, the four varieties of our in our community. Thank you for joining us this morning. Mm -hmm.